In this screencast, I'm going to show you how you can use a concept mapping tool called CMAP Tools to make a presentation. What I'll do first is show you what a presentation looks like in CMAP Tools, and then after that, I will show you how to turn a concept map into a presentation using CMAP Tools. So to start things off, let's look at this concept map that I've already created in CMAP Tools and it's devoted to a whole bunch of words that all derive from an ancient Indo-European source, specifically Pele, which meant to be flat or to spread. This concept map contains a lot of content, which is good, but on the other hand, it can be a bit overwhelming if you were to try to present this in class to your students. So, what might work better is for you to present it to students branch by branch. Let's do that now by going over here on the right hand side to the little icon that is called Presentation Builder. You'll see that this window opens up. I've already got the presentation slides ready. So I'm going to click down here and we'll start the presentation. So we start off with just the root term, the Indo-European word Pele, meaning to be flat or to spread. I click to the next slide and we see that a branch appears. So that Indo-European source became another Indo-European root, uh, plat, meaning to spread, which became the Greek word, the ancient Greek word platus, meaning broad, which in turn eventually became the English word plate, the idea being that a plate is a very flat thing. Now, I've clicked onto the next slide, and we'll see that from the same Greek source that plate came from, it also turned into the word platypus. And if we hover over this node, the platypus node, we'll see that this pop-up appears, and it says the platypus takes its name from its feet. The word platypus literally means flat foot. So nodes in CMAP tools can also contain these pop-up notes if you want. Let's move on to the next slide. From the same Greek source, we got the Spanish word plata, which, me which meant silver plate, and that became the English word platinum. And here, you'll see there's another icon. It's actually a uh, web icon, so if I click it, it says this is a YouTube video about platinum. I click that, and it opens the YouTube video in question. that out of the way and let's just proceed a little bit more it also became the word piazza in Italian which English eventually adopted it also became the word platitude which is a flat statement it became the word plateau it became the word place and we also get the word flat from it via Old Norse and even the word flatter, which came from Old French. The Old French word flatte, meaning to smooth down, became flatter, because when you flatter someone, you're sort of smoothing things over. It also became the Old Swedish word flandre, meaning flatfish, which became our word flounder. It also became the Latin word planta, meaning sole of the foot, which became a Latin verb, meaning to drive into the ground with the foot, which became the English word supplant, which originally meant to make someone trip, and it now means to replace someone in a, in a kind of sneaky way. And the word plant comes from the same source, and even the word clan, um, which the idea is that a clan of people is a group of people who grow from the same sprout. The word flat, as in, a, in, in an apartment, uh, in the UK they call apartments flats, that comes from the same source. And even flan, uh, which is a kind of flat cake or flat dessert, it came from the Latin word flato, which meant flat cake, which comes from those Indo-European sources. So if we put this all together now, we'll see that this is the sub-branch that we just moved through. And if we go to the next slide, we can see everything. So all of those branches, we could go through one by one, just as I did with that initial branch, uh, the Indo-European plat branch. 
And if we want, we can just simplify it this way. We can get rid of all the arrows and just focus on all the words that derive from the Indo-European source, all the English words that, that come from that source. So that's what a presentation based on a concept map looks like in CMAP tools. I'll now show you the process for turning a concept map into a presentation. The first thing you do to turn a concept map into a presentation in CMAP tools is you click this icon over on the right side, which is called Presentation Builder. That opens this window. And there's a few icons here. The most important one, I think, is this one, which when you hover over it, it says adds selected items, CMAP items to a new slide. So I'm going to highlight an item just by clicking on it. And then I'm going to go back to that icon and click it. And it has been added. Now for the next slide, I want to add further things down the branch. So I'm going to highlight them. You have to highlight the arrows as well as the nodes. And I go back here, click the icon again. Then I want to move further down the branch. There, and a little further down now. OK, this is just a short presentation for demonstration purposes. So now we'll, we'll review the presentation that we just made by clicking the icon at the bottom right. We start there. Let's move to the next slide. So the Indo-European Pele, meaning to be flat or to spread, became the Slavic word polia, meaning flatland, which became the Polish word Polak, meaning a person who farms the flatland, which eventually became the word Polka, meaning a Polish woman. And in fact, that eventually gave rise to the word polka dot due to the dresses that uh, were traditionally worn when people did that Polish dance. So in short, CMAP Tools is a powerful program for creating concept maps. But after you've created those maps, you can also use the program to turn your concept map into a presentation.